Yo, what is up guys for today? We're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the fourth horseman. Now, I did realize that I was going to make a review for this weapon after I made the guide, but I never did it. So I'm going to do it today. This is going to be today's video. And real quick, the review is going to be pretty short because I don't have much to say about this gun, but I am going to talk about why people are saying this gun is garbage. I don't think the gun itself is bad. I think the game design uh, that Bungie has right now is bad. That's what makes pretty much any close range weapon or CQC is bad. So let's look at the weapon itself, the fourth horseman. For the barrel, we have arrowhead break, which lightly vented barrel, which, which greatly controls recoil and increases handling speed. For the magazine, we have assault mag, which increases stability and increases rate of fire we have broadside for the first trait each successive shot has more damage and spread and for the stock we have fitted stock increases stability moderately controls recall and slightly decreases handling speed now there is a catalyst for this weapon i unfortunately don't have it because i'm a solo player so i'm not doing the legendaries even though it's really easy to do for some retarded reason i was trying to do it on my warlock instead of my hunter i'm a fucking moron but also, I've been trying to do this season's like events and I just not been able to get it and I've been doing it a while. So yeah, this is just luck on my end. And then for the intrinsic, uh, intrinsic perk, we have Thunder. This weapon's rate of fire is increased significantly and fires full auto. So let's go back to the gameplay. So for me, my the, the thing I like about this weapon the most is the fact that it's a lot of fun to use. So I'm using it right now in the event, as you guys can see. It's a lot of fun to use, especially when you're trying to kill like ma like majors or champions. It it can kill like a major like what in like one one magazine maybe two, and champions I think it's like three. So the best thing for me, the best build I have set up for the fourth horseman is for the hunter, which essentially you're gonna be looking at any type of reload dodge and sealed ahamkara grasps with those two comp combined together you can get three three shots of the fourth horseman so like one one row of four then melee with your ahamkara grasps which gives you another set of mar of ammo and then the dodge which gives you the third now Unfortunately, Ahamkara's is fucking nerfed, which means there has a, there's a timer on the Ahamkara grasp on how much you can reload because reason. So unfortunately, you can't just you can't keep melling. So the best thing, like I said, that I did was the first thing I do is shoot the gun, melee, shoot it again, dodge. And then shoot something else for a little bit and then hit it again or you can reload especially if you have the catalyst catalyst gives you an extra bullet and an increase in reload speed so <clears throat> speaking of reload speed as you guys can see i have the reload speed without the catalyst on the video right now so i have one with just basic bitch uh, reload and then i have the enhanced shotgun load or enhanced yeah enhanced shotgun loader i think it's called which increases the shotgun speed and it's it's really fast i don't know how much faster it's going to be with the catalyst i'm really really interested to see but overall i would use this in like basic bitch nightfalls when i'm chilling it's not anything that's going to be used in like raids in nightfall the ordeal nothing high end it's mostly just going to be like a very fun weapon to use and that's it like this is like entry level nightfall ordeal i can use this sure anything else not really i think <sighs> so the review is pretty much over I, there's nothing much more to say i mean the, the gun does good damage not the best damage but i think it's pretty good for what it does and overall if you have a lot of perks on it on your armor that is for shotguns you're gonna see a lot of value but even with the catalyst i still i still think it suffers from what bungie has in the game right now so like i said review over if you like the gun get it if you don't like the gun then I 
So the thing I wanted to talk about after the review is basically the reason why people are saying this gun is garbage is because A, it's probably not like a god weapon, which I, that's dumb. But another reason is because of how Bungie basically treats close quarter combat in this game. So in Destiny 1, we were able to use the fourth horseman really well, way, way better than Destiny 2 by, by far. The re main reason is because not every boss had a stomp mechanic. In the strikes, if I remember correctly, there was no stomp mechanic. Or at least not like, not everyone had them. I know some of the raid bosses, if not all of them had them, but I don't remember everything having a stomp mechanic. So, fuck, even champions have that shit. So, this is why close quarter, sh like shotguns, to an extent fusion rifles, Anything that I'm have to be face to face, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do that. That's why I don't use supers that have that like are melee based because it's just no point. That's why I always use golden gun or shit even night stalker because it's just suicide. It's it's, a, it's such a suicidal way to play. And what's worse is that like the hunters don't even have any intrinsic like shield giving or healing. It's we don't have anything like that. The only healing we have is the Wormhus Crown, and at that point, you're giving up an exotic for just healing when you can probably put on, like, maybe, I don't know, literally anything else. Like, if, especially if you're in a PvE situation. So, I... I love this weapon. It's... I've always liked it since Destiny 1, and it just pains me that it's coming into a, a state of the game where CQC is suicide. And I can understand why people are saying it's garbage because obviously shotguns in a PvE situation is not only suicidal, it's kind of stupid. So for the people who are saying, yeah, fourth horseman is bad, it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty much the funnest thing I have right now. PvE, like in a CQC situation, because ultimately you can destroy anything, anything aside from like bosses and shit. But Champions go down with like three shots, which means uh, Ahamkara melee and then a dodge immediately just destroy that dude. You can put down majors pretty fast. Bosses, I've been trying it on bosses, but because of the stomp mechanic, it's just no point. So let me know what you guys think of the, of the weapon itself. What do you guys think about Bungie's whole cqc situation with bosses having a stomp mechanic let me know in the comments below that's pretty much the video guys yeah the gun itself is fun i highly recommend it do i recommend you go out of your way for it not really but the quest steps weren't that out of the way to begin with they were pretty basic the catalyst on on the other hand is if you if you like the weapon if you see yourself having fun with it i definitely would recommend it i don't have it myself but it gives you an extra bullet which means more damage and then reload speed which means more dps so just obviously yes do that like i said in previous videos i don't do numbers and i've been thinking about doing numbers but uh just the thought of mate like i hate math so the thought of doing that just kind of like irks me but like i said fourth horseman a lot of fun i really recommend it it melts and that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys like the video let, give me a like whatever if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Also, be careful out there, guys. Wash your hands. Don't touch people. Don't sneeze in people's faces. You know, be a decent human being. And other than that, I will see you guys later.